Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this advanced PowerPoint tutorial series, you will learn how to create fishbone diagram in PowerPoint. Fishbone diagram or Ishikawa diagram as it is popularly called is a very popular consulting model used to perform root cause analysis. It is used in product design, quality defect preventions, etc. A typical fishbone diagram looks like this. This is what you will learn to create in this particular tutorial. Here you see the problem, the main problem being analyzed and these are the various causes that lead to the problem. And each of the big causes is further elaborated by the sub causes. Let us go to a new slide and create this diagram from scratch. We start by going to the block arrows and here we pick up the tool called right arrow to create the center arrow for our fishbone diagram. You then enter the text regarding the problem. So I am going to write the text regarding the problem. So that is as literal as it gets. So here is your main problem that is being discussed. Once we have this done, the next step is to draw the big cause and sub causes cluster for which you once again go to auto shapes menu under lines. You pick this basic line and draw a slanting line. This slanting line will end in a text box for which you can pick up a rectangle from the rectangles tool and uh, let that be at the edge of the slanting line. You can enter your text. So I'm going to write something called cause 1. Once you have your cause 1 written, you need to write sub causes for which we are going to use the line once again and draw these lines. I'm making the copy by holding the control key and moving the line. If you want one more line, you can do so by holding the control key and moving it to a new place. So that is how the main cause and the sub causes are uh, written. Once you've done this, select them all and press control G to group them. Now we need to make copies of this cluster. As many copies as you have the number of big causes that you want to explain. So in our case, we are going to use four big causes and the sub causes. So we're going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V three times. You can move this one here and maybe call it as say cause two. And let's move this copy here and we are going to arrange rotate flip vertical and we are going to stick this one here and take this copy and do the same arrange rotate flip vertical and stick it here now if you see these text boxes are inverted a simple way to get them straight is click on the text box go to arrange rotate and flip vertical there you see the text box is back again maybe we'll call this uh, cause 3 and we'll do the same to this text box as well arrange rotate and flip vertical cause 4 if i were to do it myself then i would use these uh, shortcuts from in quick access toolbar i've used the normal method just to illustrate how exactly this uh, process is done. All right. Once you finish this, you can always go to your text and write, say, sub cause text and stick it here and stick as many copies as you want by holding the control key and populate these. Uh, clusters. So that is how you create the typical fishbone diagram. 
Let me show you some examples or variations of fishbone diagram taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs. You can create elaborate fishbone diagrams like the one here which shows as many as seven causes and subcauses. Sometimes you may need just a superficial analysis done like in this case where we have used only one subcause per big cause. You can add some style to your fishbone diagram by adding 3D bevels to your diagram. This adds a bit of visual interest to the diagram. Or you can play with the position of your uh, subcauses here. Like we have used this arrow instead of the line to create our subcauses. Once you learn how to create your basic fishbone diagram, you can come up with your own creative variations. If you don't have the time to create such elaborate diagrams yourself, you can always check out our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO Packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs. You just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text to create your business slides. Creating professional quality business slides hasn't ever been easier. Hope you like the tutorials. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.